This is the Bill Kelly Show, 900 CHML. You're watching on Cable 14. David Adames from Tourism Hamilton is here. Pam Belgrade from uh, Tourism Burlington. Uh, and also Sophia Aginalides, uh, the Revenue Minister. Ted McBeacon, MPP for Ancaster, Dundas, Flamborough, and Westdale. Uh, money coming from the provincial government for festivals. This is, uh, this is an economic development story as much as it is tourism, isn't it, Ted? Oh, it sure is, Bill. You know, we get up uh, every single day uh, uh, in the Legislative Assembly and we fight uh, about different issues, and Ontario's worth fighting for, but uh, it's really important that we pause every once in a while and uh, recognize that there's something to celebrate and, uh, and to showcase our communities. You, uh, you can't do economic development if people, if people can't see the best in a community. I think these festivals uh, really allow that to be brought up. Brought Tourism up. is such a, a key element here, and I know that Sophia, you've talked about the impact that it has here in the summer season. It, it took a bit of a hit because of SARS, because of some of the other things that happened with the economy. Are we on the upswing? Are things happening here now? Well, we sure are, Bill. In fact, uh, the numbers uh, when it comes to tourism in Ontario, we generate about $22 billion in economic activity when it comes to tourism. It generate. it also... It's um, billion, not million. Did billion. I say million? Billion. I'm sorry. Yeah, billion. Yeah. Billion. Yes. Twenty-two billion. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> also, it, it uh, has a direct impact on about three hundred thousand jobs. Uh, for events and festivals themselves, it's about twenty-two thousand jobs. So uh, there's a twenty-two thousand. So that's a lot of people. Working. It's a it's, it's a great news story for this community that uh, that I think has done a, an awfully good job on its own. But I mean, this is uh, I, I I think a fabulous relationship here, Ted, where you're actually. You're looking at something that's already flourishing and saying we can do even better here and everybody benefits. A absolutely. And by the way, a shout out to the Burlington Teen Tour Band, uh, uh, our area's uh, great, great ambassadors for, for the entire area. They're down uh, Myrtle Beach now for spring break. and they just Who won, isn't? They, won, they just won the first prize at the uh, American uh, uh, Marching Band uh, contest down there. That's no surprise to, to me or anybody who knows the Teen Tour Band. but. Uh, you know, that's a celebration too, and, and they're good ambassadors. They go down there and they invite people back to the Sound of Music and, uh, and uh, related uh, events in our area, and, uh, and they make friends. People want to come to Hamilton, they, you know, and then when we, we couple that with wanting to showcase this beautiful place we call home, it's a win-win-win. Well, absolutely it is, and, and especially when we get some money from, uh, from our uh, provincial government to try to help out with this. Uh, thank you on behalf of a, a grateful community, or two communities, really. Uh, Sophia and Ted for for the the dollars that are coming into this, and uh, I know that uh, you got a pretty wide smile here from Pam and from David uh, because they know that this money is going to be put to use in pretty fast uh, fashion. Uh, we got to do the break though, and I know you guys have got to get going. A busy agenda for you. To, you know, two of the elected officials that aren't in Myrtle Beach this week, uh, and we're uh, thankful that you could stop in for this. Thanks so much for this. At least you took the time, Bill. Thanks. Okay, back after the break as we continue the Bill Kelly Show, CHML and Cable 14.